Hi, my name is Donna and I've been living with MS since I was 17. In my spare time, I love to shop, I love fashion and I love football. I'm a big West Bromwich Albion fan um, and so I spend a lot of time going to football matches to support them. I was diagnosed with MS when I was 17. That was back in 2003. I was 17, so to me, I was invincible. MS had other ideas. I knew nothing about MS when I was diagnosed. Um, it took me a long time to accept it, research it, and then realise what I was up against. So now I've got double vision, slurred speech, and the cognitive issues where it's difficult for me to process information. I've learned to manage my MS by listening to my body. I couldn't understand how, how I wasn't able to do what I really wanted to do. My first love is slow came when I had to start using a crutch and then the lows carried on. Those, those lows carried on when it went to two crutches and then a scooter. I did become very lonely and isolated for that. For me, the highest high was realising the importance of community. That happened for me when I went to a young people's conference and it was for young people with MS. These people were amazing and I, I finally felt like I belonged and that for me was a turning point and since then um, I've tried to make it so that there's not another 17 year old that comes along and feels lonely and isolated and hopeless the way that I did through helping others. I'm helping myself. I wanted to get involved with Stop MS because for so long I tried to disguise or hide my MS and then there came a point where I couldn't anymore. When you're diagnosed with MS, it's very easy to give up but we continue to fight. I would tell someone who was thinking about giving money to the Stop MS campaign that their support is invaluable, it's much needed, and it's so appreciated. So I would say thank you for a start and I would just ask them to continue supporting the campaign until we can truly stop MS.